Hi people, Punky here, welcome back to this channel. In this episode we're doing a review for T3485 Russian tier 6 medium tank. Uh, we'll do this review from two main parts, this short in garage part, then three fantastic games, one mine, one a random live game and one of your best games in this uh, tank. So let's start with appearance of this tank, in my opinion, pretty nice looking tank, but it is a much bigger target than predecessor T-34, so let's compare it with uh, T-34, which is benchmark for size on this channel. And uh, yeah, we can see that uh, this turret is just so much uh, bigger, meaning a taller tank, a little bit bigger silhouette also, bigger target, harder to hide behind some dead tanks, but also it will help you to shoot over some dead tanks that a T-34 just uh, couldn't do it. So what will you use to shoot on those tanks? Well, you have four guns in selection. First one, stock one, is a really crap one. This one, if you don't have unlocked, well, you need to grind it. And uh, it isn't very good penetration, like you can see, 126, 167. For tier 6 uh, nowadays, that is really uh, even bad. But uh, this one is really expensive, so if you don't have free experience, until you wait to unlock this, uh, 85mm D5T 85BM top gun uh, then you can use this Howitzer 120mm U11 which I was using and it was uh, working pretty good for me so uh, you will earn money you know you will uh, save money because HE runs are inexpensive you can carry 3 runs of uh, heat if you want but what about uh, this uh, top gun it is pretty nice gun you know especially for medium tank in tier 6 it has 10 runs per minute rate of fire which is okay 144 millimeters of penetration is 10 runs uh, not uh, really good nowadays you know we have a lot of uh, really uh, big armor tanks especially in tier 7 and tier 8 now uh, 194 with gold APCR uh, runs, uh, that is much better, and HE runs have 44 millimeters of penetration, so you can use them too. Alpha is 180 with uh, AP and APCR and 300 uh, hit points with uh, HE runs, so yeah, another point for HE runs here. Uh, but don't use a lot of them. So, accuracy 0 0.37, pretty accurate Russian gun, you know, 2.3 seconds saving time, that is something like uh, average for, you know, uh, medium tanks, so you need to work that, you can work with that. Uh, so, this gun will behave well, uh, not the greatest gun depression, you know, but uh, you can work with that too, it is not uh, bad. Uh, armor wise uh, this uh, tank has 45 millimeters on front of the hull, 45 on side and 40 on rear you will bounce something but not much but turret is much stronger with 90 front 75 sides and 52 in the rear so uh, some shots will be bounced uh, by this uh, turret not uh, bad armor but nothing that you can you know invest on or uh, something that you can hope uh, it will help you much uh, so driving it is decently fast tank 54 kilometers per hour forward top speed uh, 20 in reverse which is very good but yeah i know i don't have fully researched uh, crew you know 98 percent commander 96 uh, rest of the crew uh, but this tank feels, you know, sluggish and it always felt like that, you know. Uh, even T-34 in this game is on that side, you know, somehow weird acceleration, like you are constantly in mud. And that shouldn't be because the, these tanks were very, very agile in real life, but okay. So, uh, you will not be satisfied, especially if you don't have a 100% experience crew and some skills and perks for driver but again it is not bad so uh, what about uh, equipment ammo and uh, crew that we mentioned well I using binoculars for extended view range 
gun laying drive for that faster aiming and gun rammer for even better and faster reloading. Ammo wise, I uh, have 38 rounds of AP, 7 rounds of APCR and 3 rounds of HE. Maybe you can use a little bit more, but be careful because sometimes this tank can run out uh, of ammo. Uh, then crew, well for this crew I have uh, like you can see 6 cents concealment, recon brothers in arms, uh, snapshot for gunner concealment, designated target brothers in arms, a smooth ride concealment, off road driving brothers in arms and uh, maybe instead of uh, a smooth ride uh, maybe you should use clutch braking uh, before. Uh, that situational awareness, concealment, call for vengeance for radio operator and for loader safe storage concealment intuition brothers in arms. Let's see that uh, awesome game now. Okay, our first uh, game here on steps and uh, it is week tier 6 match, you know, but it was, uh, you know, everything but not uh, weak. And we put some good fighting and friendly team. Well, if we uh, look uh, things that we have, you know, it is a weird combination, you know. I think uh, they had just small advantage in uh, tanks. Uh, KV2-22. Uh, uh, then uh, RBFM radio tank destroyer, you know against uh, our Wolverine, so should be just a little bit better uh, and we already lost uh, AMD uh, 176B so 178B okay that weird weird uh, tier 6 uh, little tank you know so now you know, you don't want to uh, rush and to say, okay, we will do this easy, because uh, be honest, how many times you had MM like this, you know, and uh, you just uh, rushed and died and then your team lost uh, this game. So we want to snap those bushes first for our uh, advance there. And... Uh, Nothing is spotted. There is VK2801. Remember that guy. He played a crucial role for uh, his team there. And that tank uh, used to packing uh, 105 millimeters howitzer that you can find on uh, Panzer 4H and some tier 6 German medium tanks and heavy tanks also so it was very powerful fast uh, light tank you know fat you know it was uh, short but uh, fat target but uh, it was uh, good so now we are clear to advance here you know and uh, let's see can we we are leading our team holding line very good you know now it is even and we hoping that we can kill some tanks uh, from side here like that uh, ugly duck mx40 but we are spotted probably that well maybe that su uh, 76 gft maybe not but from now on, and there you go again, that VK2801. Do you know that uh, Panther should be that VK28, uh, you know? Oh, you so struggle with the gun depression. We could shoot that guy and then we just lost the gun depression in the way back. So we are still leading, but things are not so good as before. So I was hoping that I can kill that uh, VK before uh, 
I can go back, you know, it is time to go back, just to watch that situation on minimap. Uh, and until something happens, yes, uh, that uh, Panther should be just uh, 20 uh, something tons, you know. But uh, then went, you know, retarded, heavy retarded, 45 tons or something. And uh, until now, there is dispute, you know, our, uh, is a Panther, uh, you know, heavy tank or medium tank. Um, and some would uh, add there even uh, tank destroyer in that game. Oh, that's a little blasted. He shot me and pinned me. So now I see I definitely need to go back uh, ASAP, you know. So, uh, yeah, we'll not talk anymore about uh, Panther. But there is uh, interesting videos about that thematic, is it? Uh, because the Russians designated that uh, tank as a uh, heavy tank, you know. And uh, Germans, of course, kept it as... Uh, medium tank but they designated uh, kv1 as super heavy tank and it was uh, also like uh, 40 tons so, so probably even uh, less weight than than panther and i think it was lower in size okay so now we are really in trouble do you see how fast things can turn and especially in MM when you have three different tiers, you know. It can go terribly wrong, you know. If you have one top tier like that. On an opening where there are just uh, bottom tiers. He can do a miracle. If they don't rush him. Fortunately we bounce that. I don't want to expose too much because there is a lot of tanks. But I keep bouncing even with APCR runs. So we need to expose ourselves even more to see his neck. And we slice to that neck. So let's see. Okay, there is uh, KV220. Luckily, he isn't aiming at me. Last round of APCR. Uh, okay, we don't know where that. Uh, we have problems with missing shells in the last. Uh, you uh well in last week maybe be because of heat you know maybe i don't see well but if you saw one game in emails though you would confirm that you know because in this same thing i was clearing my base and two of my shells disappeared, you know, fully aimed on tank that is completely unopen. A little bit uh, bigger distance than that KV-222. Uh, always shoot KV-222 uh, in turret. I made mistake there trying to shoot in pool. Uh, so I went against my, my own beliefs and uh, my own, uh, you know, knowledge. And experience and uh, somehow yeah I missed that shot and in this uh, very moment I knew I uh, fudged up I oh, just kidding uh, I knew that I am uh, well I didn't knew that actually and I didn't knew, knew that until I saw post uh, post game uh, data but uh, I was here one against five and I could get my 19 Colobanos if I played this well. But this shot, you know, this shot uh, screwed me. So now I'm thinking, you know, let's go run one of them and uh, shoot them also. And that other one is behind first one. So I decided just to shoot and to run this one and to shoot him again to repair my gun hopefully not yet well let's finish that 14 tp and now we will repair our gun and that happened so quickly you know 
And now you will see something about these turtle tanks, even that uh, premium one. Okay, that was penetration, but... Yep. Uh, you can bounce on sides and on pool sometimes, and even sometimes on turret on that tank. So it is 7 kills, you know, and if that AMD decided to fight, you know, uh, I have better view range, even base view range, I hope. Those will be because don't have very good view range. View range. So if he decided to fight, I could, you know, maybe win this and got that 19 Colobanos. And it is really something, you know, 19 Colobanos. I have two just in that M4 Sherman, you know. Uh, which is now called just M4 A1, you know. So he was last time spotted there when he was shooting at me, you know. And I was hoping that uh, maybe he flipped, you know, because he wasn't involved in that uh, last uh, flash there. And that would be also Redley Walters. Unfortunately, he kept avoiding fight, you know, and I'm not that fast, you know. It is fast tank. Again, little bit, you know, turning and acceleration not uh, best. Or at least, uh, oh, of course it is not best, but uh, it is not what you're expecting. you expecting from these tanks you know, to be what they were in uh, Second World War, to be, you know, all about maneuverability. But, uh, yeah, that didn't happen. So, and there he is. Uh, but I was so confused. I don't see enemy. Where is enemy? Oh, what the hell? That happens sometimes. So, there he is. Okay, we don't want to go there. He can detract us there while we don't have gun depression. So let's go around. And then he decided to, you know, run away from this fight again. And we said denied. <laughs> so we lost uh, 129 rubles, uh, 33 shots far, 21 on target. And uh, we uh, damaged how many? 8 tanks and killed 8. So that is good. Set on experience, 1266 stars of experience first in both teams. 8 kills first in both teams. And two, two, 2534 HP of damage. So here we go top gun, high caliber, steel wall, ready walters, color bonus medal, all good medals, shell proof, far for effect, duelist, hard. Uh, hand of God and M Bird for this tank and this game. So, hope you enjoyed. Let's see one alive random game. Okay, we had some problems to record uh, this live game. Now I turn off my PC and restart it again. So, hopefully, you'll do it. Uh, I saw some artifacts. I don't know, was that my graphica dying? Was that uh, client, you know, World of Tanks client? Or maybe some problems uh, between this recording program and the uh, game. Uh, but uh, whenever I pass bush, some artifact would uh, appear and stay on my screen. So that was weird. And now uh, well, we will try to avoid bushes, you know. It is tier 6 match with uh, tier 5 uh, tanks, so medium tier 6 uh, game. And uh, let's see. We'll go to the left. Already famous position, you know, everybody knows for that H1 position. An enemy will usually go to F1, uh, sorry, maybe even E1 to spot. Maybe it is F1 after all. There, in those bushes. 
so hopefully we would uh, use this uh, nice accurate gun for sniping in start of this game because uh, like we said it is 0 0.37 more 100 meters uh, there is a t14 there lovely preempt shot we still have shot wow that twitched hand still managed to hit him and we detract that uh, leopard and we punish him this huge uh, target you know oh no he tricked us very well there and we are spotted we pulling back and shooting in move you know left he 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 free Kati is there I don't know, was he one that spotted us or maybe somebody went in the middle uh, Really Bad stuff here, uh, where is our uh, light tank? He's dead already Okay, so this can turn in very good game or very bad game uh, here Alt. Unfortunately our team didn't use that very good opportunity to, you know, lose their scout. And now he can do, you know, whatever he wants. He can, if he is smart, he can uh, use these bushes. To go very close and to spot us all. Halt. Nope. Halt, dude. Okay, KV2 is somewhere there. Let's try one blind just to see will I be spotted now when Leopard is still far away. Nope. So maybe he spotted me after all, you know. Luckily for us, he is not so very care careful, you know. But, uh, let's wait a little bit more. So, that uh, 82 is dangerously close, you know. If they start shooting at him, if he would be spotted you die very quickly you know oh too high too high too high shooting on that uh we two there blind okay they pulling scores We don't have scout, that is the problem. Don't have scout. Hopefully we are not spotted now. Yes we are. Oh no. Two at front. Raise gun up. <laughs> we need to defend from that RT. Oh no, KV2 can shoot us even from there. You know. So that is good, that is good. So now we have uh, advantage. Do you know how you can fish with your HE rounds? Well, not on those positions. But... You can... Uh, fire HE round if you don't see explosion behind like that. Well. That means you hit something, then you can switch to your AP or APCR round. Unfortunately, I wouldn't want to go there and to spot. But this situation is really bad. So let's fire one like this. Now we must be spotted if something is there. Nope. Okay, let's 
let's continue forward a little bit let's continue forward we don't want to be last uh, guy on party but also we don't want to die you are a huge target but let's see let's see what will be okay we are spotted we are spotted we are spotted spotting some tanks shooting in move Okay, Arty, Arty shooting very, <laughs> really good now. Okay, that was shot from. H round of uh, uh, from that uh, easy eight, and this is now a really dangerous situation. You know, 82. If somebody would spot that 82, that would be a lovely, jubbly, lovely, jubbly situation. Okay, we said just detract it. Oh my god, even till four tanks can pan that side, and we just detract it. That's shame. Shame, baby. Really shame. Oh, he didn't even spot me there. Okay, we set him on fire. Dead. Okay, let's avoid RT. Let's avoid RT. Raise gun. Raise gun. Okay. Wolverine was last time spotted somewhere here. Should we rush in? Okay, that was artillery. Power of RT. RT dead. So where is Wolverine? Wolverine is... Somewhere here, let's not be too obvious. Let's choose this one. Need more gun depression, but he's dead. So that was our uh, live game. Hopefully, I mean, we didn't see artifacts now. So, not bad game, not bad game. We showed you some nice sniping shots. We showed you some uh, positions where you can elevate your front end, front right end, to get uh, on gun depression when we were shooting on that uh, easy 8, M4 and uh, 82 it was first class but uh, for random game it is ok so we are first in uh, experience, 16,000 credits earned not bad at all and remember that uh, that advice you know for some bushes you know very well known and if you fire H rounds and you don't see explosion just continue firing because light tank is there spotting let's see your best game in this tank okay first I must say this is a really weird way to paint your tank you know I don't think he didn't have enough gold because he put you know, uh, stickers and uh, signs and everything. Or maybe he ran out, you know, just in that moment and he didn't have for for uh, turret. But uh, why wouldn't he paint turret in first place? I don't know. <laughs> We're looking T3485 player is Benny Boy Budge, you know. Benny boy bud when you hear that you know he is you know friend uh, that is friend okay it is a week tier 6 uh, match same like in my first game and let's see uh, this is best uh, replay I could find in combination with kills uh, damage and experience so there is one replay with more experience and damage 
uh, with uh, that Hovitzer gun. So you can check that and watch that if you want. There you go. <laughs> Ricochet on Chihe. <laughs> Chiho, Chiha, Chito. Okay, does the Japanese uh, things, you know, to exchange all, uh, all the vocals, you know, to get it right. Uh, but I, I don't think they have Chihu, you know. Okay, they missed one, so... Okay, Japanese, if you need a new type, you know, then just type Chihu, because you didn't use that one. Okay, here you see how he works here to find that uh, gun depression and to still be protect, uh, protected, you know, he doesn't expose too much of his tank uh, just to it but uh, lucky, luckily for him, you know, nobody really advanced on that uh, corner because nobody of their team went on that corner so that is big uh, no-no uh, by that enemy you know but let's see he's on almost 700 uh, hit points of damage now that dude uh, just fired will he take opportunity no he doesn't have gun depression yes now he will m4a1 destroyed and she taught here six medium tank japanese one who is actually you know tier 5 tier 5 hull uh, and uh, tier 5 gun and Churchill is dying too so that is great a great job here he did uh, 1586 HP damage Cromwell is only a uh, tier 6 tank that are left here and uh, that heavy tank actually British heavy tanks don't have a heavy tank gun you know so you can uh, be more of heavy tank in T-34-85 than that uh, British tank or even Churchill you know I would outflank him that has uh, that tank has a really slow turret but uh, he didn't lose any uh, hit points until now actually when he decided to outflank him and to bounce on his uh, rear okay 7 to 6 so enemy still holding was holding ramming speed and he missed too bad but that's just showing what I told you in the garage you know uh, this uh, tank uh, isn't agile as you would think and uh, you have a feeling that uh, it will be you know but uh, it isn't so seven kills for him five tanks left his team advancing pretty good you know there is one RT and he's shooting APCR on artillery I didn't check his load in start with this game but you can uh, you know go back and to see that and he has uh, five uh, HE runs you know some people uh, carry that HE runs just for you know because they were there you know but they uh, don't use it uh, I would decide you know will I carry that uh, HE round or not. Wow, this is an interesting situation. And uh, at least now I would switch to a HE rounds. Side of that uh, T28 would be juicy target for 300 hit points with this HE rounds, you know. But he didn't. So he went in reverse a little bit to protect himself from fire of that mate a1 he didn't fire and he wants to go up for uh, for artillery kill he got uh, rally volters uh, no luck for him for colobanos but there is uh, 
that uh, may take one first shot a little bit rushed a long gaming time and second shot hit nothing okay let's kill Ati Ati decided to stop there because he knows that uh, this dude is on 8 kills and he wanted for S for south 40 to get a kill on artillery on itself so he will deny him 9 kill here mate a1 trying bless him artillery really bad shots you know ramming speed and that was lovely jubbly and then uh, mate a1 is also dead because he crushed himself denying him denying him pulls medal what a shame so yeah no cap kill all uh, heroes very good uh, match very good game he was aggressive from start you know and that paid off but he didn't expose too much of his himself his tank and the only time when he exposed this tank was when he you know really badly when he actually went on that uh, excelsior because maybe some tanks would snipe from behind but they didn't so let's see post game data and who did what but they didn't <laughs> i'm just kidding okay in total he on just 534 shots for 29 on target very good accuracy it is accurate gun, just a slow aiming time. 11 tanks damage and he killed 9, that is great. Uh, very short game, under 7 minutes. Set on experience. First in that in both teams, 1615 stars, 9 kills, and 3785 HP of damage. That Cromwell made terrible mistake that he didn't took that position, you know. Uh, because that thing has uh, gun depression and he could work, you know, with that, but he didn't. So uh, let's see here. He spotted four enemy tanks, a good top gun, high caliber, early Walters, four for fact duelist, bruiser, and I'm badge for this, for this tank and this uh, game. So let's see that final verdict, and uh, then we can finish this uh, review. And in the end, that question, should you keep this tank or sell it as soon you unlock another one? And, uh, well, it is legendary vehicle, T-3485, so maybe that is already reason to keep it. Uh, but, uh, like you can see here, we have 60% swing ratio in this tank, and it was one of my first tier 6 tanks, and you need to really work to unlock that gun. It is not bad, it is pretty good, you know. Uh, also, you need to consider this, uh, when I was playing this tank, it was really one of the best vehicles in its game. So not just in tier 6, but in tier, uh, you know, when it's playing against tier 7 and tier 8. But now you have so much uh, more, you know, OP tanks in tier 7 and tier 8, and even in tier 6, uh, some pretty good uh, tanks. So this tank is not so competitive anymore especially because it's lacking that push that acceleration and that will you know took most of your fun uh, when you're trying to maneuver with this tank so here well some you know average uh, results and it is average tank in everything you know a russian school decent uh, gun but not the best not the worst decent armor not the best not the worst you know decent speed not the best not the worst so uh, we have eight kills too uh let's see two marks of excellence 25 high calibers this is kamikaze we already saw kolobanos medal and rally walters so that we got uh, playing for this review and we had even one lucky medal which was um, really great to have that all combined this tank well it is yes you know it is t3485 it is still strong but not as strong as it was so big yes for this tank what else uh, yeah uh, subscribe like uh, hit that bell icon and buy my merch because with no merch I cannot buy chocolate and with no chocolate no more reviews so it is on you baby okay bye
Okay, so let's see some uh, other M badges that we had during uh, history. So, Pobeda means uh, victory, Poraz means uh, defeat, that shorter is defeat. Uh, maybe we'll see a few, there you go. Uh, this was while I had my account on uh, Serbian, you know, but now I switched language to English. Just because of you guys. And there you go, you know, pretty capable tank. Even before this is, uh, uh, all these uh, embedges are before, uh, before they increase hit pool, you know, hit points on tiers uh, five and below, you know. So probably it would be more damage here, of course. Uh, one more time, thank you for watching and see ya.